the faking real people ain't a problem anymore you can even do it live cloning voices ain't a problem anymore you just need their voices and so what now the faking vtubers about a year or so ago we have been teased about this little side project called talking head anime from a single image the author pamuk made this cool and interactive software based on various ai techniques that made moving basic facial features of a 2d illustration possible it has a very basic six parameters control which can be manipulated by a face tracker as you can see right here on his demo the most impressive part is that you only need one illustration of a character to animate them and the ai will generate all the details of the character that does not exist fast forward to now version 2 has been published for around eight months with a lot of mind-blowing changes and improvements to the ai from a simple six parameters control in version 1 to now a 42 parameters control it provides a much more accurate facial manipulation and it's all achieved with some fascinating problem solving approaches to the problems you would not expect this provided a scarily convenient image to vtuber converter where you can actually do something similar to a real vtuber model now. All right, now look carefully at this VTuber model that's face tracking my face. Is this sound alike in some way? Let me also lower the video quality. Test one, two, three. Is this working? How's going, guys? This is Gorgora. All right, please don't sue me, whole alive. It's just a dumb joke. I meant no harm. Thank you. Even though cloning voices live is still not possible, making a fake video of a VTuber is definitely easy accessible now as you can see. This AI literally works like a deepfake and if you put it in low resolution there's no way people can tell. And keep in mind only one image of the VTuber was input into the AI and now you can manipulate that image like a real VTuber model. Which is pretty mental right? This has all become possible because of how careful he was when he redesigned this AI since version. One. Things such as eyebrows that are in front of the hair bangs, which in real life should be behind, poses a layering challenge in animating the VTuber models. To put this into actual spoken language, you would need to photoshop the eyebrows out, patch the original face, then you can animate the eyebrows. But Pramuk has big brainly came up with a way that uses AI to prevent all this hassle. He basically achieved converting a 2D face illustration into a working VTuber model in two major steps. Since you would need to morph the eyebrows in different facial expressions the first step focuses on using a network to segment the eyebrows and another one to morph them back on top this process specifies the brows are in their own layer so when deforming facial features it would be controllable and separatable not just a hot mess of bangs mixed with brows the second step has just a network that focuses on other facial features like the eyes eyelids irises and the mouth benefits of using an ai here is that for the facial features the ai is just not deforming them like how you stretch them in photoshop it has the ability to synthesize new details based on training data so it looks real when the model moves around. Specifically, the AI architecture can be broken down like this as he has shown in his article. In the face morpher, the eyebrows are morphed first with an input for posing as reference, then the eyes and the mouth and everything else are morphed later. Separated just like how he approaches two major deforming steps. This separation and the morphing step does make a lot of difference as the eyebrows are much more clear and less warped or dismissed compared to other solutions that don't separate them as for the input illustrations the characters need to be in a resting pose which is like the default pose when they just stare into your soul also since the ai model is trained in a smaller data set different skin colors or more unique features of a specific vtuber model may be very difficult for the ai to regenerate and it needs to be in the resting pose or else if you have different art styles it can just result in some weird ai artifacts this ai model is very similar in nature with FOM which is the image face manipulation and the tool for Wombo.ai or the meme but none of them has come this close in animating or manipulating anime faces and yeah there are just so many more details like how the irises are labeled segmenting different types of eyebrows how the model was trained that would be too boring to cover in a video but extremely fascinating to find out about so if you want to learn more about it definitely check out his blog here the challenge of this AI is 
still obtaining constant high FPS and it's pretty difficult to get it anywhere up to 15 FPS. The artifacts around the joints are pretty obvious too, but for how easy this is to make, I'll just give it a benefit of doubt. I also like how versatile this whole user interface is. The irises can be easily adjusted while looking very real. The synthesized details are really on point, but most importantly, the facial tracking is just so clean. This might be because you have to use Apple's AR kit on iOS device and the app costs like a few bucks, but the facial tracking data is just much more accurate than using a monocular source like the PC webcam. Pramuk did not create this to deepfake VTubers, it was more of a tool to make becoming a VTuber easier, as he is a VTuber fan himself. This project is just so impressive as a whole and he also developed this as a side hobby too, which is just mind blowing. If you want to try this out for yourself, check out his documentation on GitHub. If you have any questions, ask me on my Discord too. And lastly, this video is brought to you by NordVPN. NordVPN provides you with safe internet browsing, workaround for region locks, and most importantly, privacy against your ISP. I find it really convenient to hop around my virtual location to watch shows while I'm on vacation, and also to prevent people from tracking my location on the internet or successfully DDoSing me in Apex Legends. From my personal experience, NordVPN is probably one of the smoothest VPN out there, no lags or internet speed reduction whatsoever, really just a service that I appreciate I have, as well as being really accessible with its cool and friendly user interface. And it works on most platforms too, which is amazing. Thank you guys for watching, a big shout out to Andrew, Panther Modern, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. If you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord and ask there too. Follow my Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one.